video, we move to some real hands-on uh, activities uh, or practice for making uh, our uh, repository so starting from the scratch uh, for enterprise architecture. Uh, it, during the last uh, three videos, so we have, uh, uh, I hope, is you uh, go through those video steps and uh, successfully download, install, config uh, your backend, uh, the top, uh, ontology, uh, the Prodigy tool, and the front-end, uh, the Essential Weaver, and make that connected already. Uh, if not yet, uh, please uh, check my uh, number two, uh, 002 video. It's uh, our, uh, the uh, very comprehensive list uh, uh, to demo to you how to make the uh, environment work. Uh, this video is uh, uh, for the purpose is not uh, uh, based on the real case, but uh, we based on our sample case uh, to start uh, ramping up our uh, repository. Uh, uh, working as our enterprise architecture, actually, uh, as we introduced the meta model uh, earlier, uh, there's um, um, the multiple layer. Uh, like within the essential, we have the enterprise layer. Then you have a business application information and technology layer. On every layer, you also have the different level of the views, uh, the conceptual, uh, logical, physical. Uh, so now uh, it is the time is uh, we are really need to go into uh, those layers and those uh, uh, views uh, levels uh, and to see what that really mean uh, when you come to our enterprise architecture modeling. Uh, the modeling I mean is not our uh, the diagramming. So in some tool, you you may use a UML based modeling, you may use the uh, the Archimate based modeling, but you are doing the diagramming. But in essential uh, things, it is based on the ontology uh, philosophy. So you are not really do the diagramming. Uh, you need to think about the meta model. Uh, Based on the meta model, think about the context between uh, the those uh, uh, meta model elements, the relationship among those uh, different uh, elements. Uh, then gradually, uh, you are uh, linked the different context and making that uh, mapping to your uh, the enterprise uh, situation. Uh, so. For those, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, there uh, should have uh, numbers of the industry, uh, the, uh, the reference. Uh, the essential is uh, based on some, uh, the primarily is based on the TOGAF. Uh, if you're familiar with the open group, uh, so you, you may know is uh, on the TOGAF, they also have the business layer, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, business application layer, or called is the, uh, the application service layer, and also the, uh, the application technology layer, uh, information layer, uh, and and also the tra transformation or the project related parts or change uh, implementation rollout. So uh, you, you have the ADM, uh, architecture delivery model, so made in TOGAF. Uh, and also there's uh, some uh, the other the meta model based on TOGAF, uh, which Essential also adopt. Uh, and also I say uh, essential when they come to the business layer, uh, or, uh, you can feel they, they also get some inputs from the uh, business architecture guild uh, published. Uh, if you know that is uh, is called is a business architecture uh, body of knowledge, so beats bulk. Uh, so that also are uh, very uh, nice. Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, those uh, meta model that uh, focus on the business uh, architecture parts. Uh, so normally, is uh, uh, there there's uh, no uh, the mandate uh, mandatory sequence uh, for you to ramping up your uh, the EA repository. Uh, but for our demo, so easier for us to gradually adding more and more uh, the element uh, in this uh, sample repository for you to uh, to learn and to uh, make a reference to your uh, own real, uh, the, your corporate, your enterprise situation. Uh, I will start in from the simple one and also uh, from the, uh, the top level uh, layer to the bottom layer. Uh, I actually, when I say top, it's a, it just normally is uh, uh, in the people's uh, idea. 
common sense is uh, we starting from the business layer. Uh, and then we go to the application layer, we go to the information layer, then technology layer. So uh, for this video, uh, let's uh, start from a very tiny part is uh, sort of, uh, making our basic uh, business capability model. Uh, so if I prepare this uh, second page is uh, uh, the domain uh, within the business architecture. Uh, uh, later on, uh, we will go to see the uh, essential uh, the prodigy tool. So you can see the structure of the essential uh, so view. Uh, but this picture actually is uh, uh, primarily is coming from the BizBog. Uh, if you don't know BizBog, it's a check with the, uh, you, you can Google that, search on the information about the, uh, those uh, business uh, uh, architecture, uh, the body of not, uh, the uh, knowledge is already released to the version 12 uh, by the BA GUID uh, and very live uh, refreshed and uh, keep uh, contributed by many different uh, the industrial uh, the reference group uh, team so but within this book uh, in simple there's a four uh, the call uh, domain in the middle so uh, there's a two domain is uh, talking about the what. Uh, one is the uh, uh, capability, which we will um, uh, demo uh, briefly today. And also information is one of the four core domains uh, also talking about the what. So uh, the capability is what you are doing. Uh, information is uh, what uh, information you are generating. And within the call, uh, there also are who and where uh, talking about the organization. Uh, and the value stream is talking about how. So this four in the middle, and also there's uh, six around in the, uh, around is uh, some talking why, like uh, policy, rule, regulation, uh, and mapping to the essential, these are the EA support, uh, the domains. And who and where as well is talking about the external, uh, the, uh, the people, organization, and uh, stakeholder. So, uh, and your environment of your business, uh, and why is for your business uh, vision, mission, strategy, tactic, uh, and how is for how you um, uh, package your program, your initiative, your project, and how you manage your change. And when is the decision making? So uh, you have some uh, the performance uh, metrics uh, and talking about how well. Uh, and also the uh, last but not least is uh, in the surrounding uh, domain. You also have what is uh, you have all of those uh, architecture uh, structure. You need to sell that to your customer by your um, maybe solid product. Uh, we call this hard product, soft product. Uh, and soft product is uh, mo most of the time is referred to the service. So from the business architecture uh, parts, uh, you already can see it's uh, starting to be the complicated, uh, but using essential is a good uh, chance if you uh, have most uh, systematic way to uh, think about uh, those uh, domains. Uh, but these uh, all those domains are, are only talking about uh, uh, the business layer uh, uh, until now. Uh, in essential, the uh, extended uh, uh, the meta model also talking about the application information and the technology layer. So you can now imagine is uh, how uh, big potential that you can uh, use uh, essential to, uh, to do. Those and for today, uh, what I will going to do is uh, it, it's not uh, exactly the same like this one. So, but uh, we will picking up uh, the uh, the capability uh, and with a sample. Uh, they, actually, this picture is coming from one of the uh, pub, uh, uh, the public available. Uh, the sample from uh, LinaX, uh, so they, they show is uh, uh, there's uh, some uh, the generic uh, business uh, capability map. Uh, so what, what we will uh, are willing to do is uh, let's uh, try to uh, use uh, the uh, our prodigy uh, to uh, make uh, some uh, capability model, and then uh, we bring those uh, capability model to the our weaver, uh, so that you can see which view is uh, can uh, be valid for the capabilities uh, uh, the model shown, uh, and before that. Uh, uh, I have uh, two things I want to mention. One is the uh, 
uh, this uh, GitHub uh, the repository. Uh, so I have uh, making some uh, enhancement uh, after last video. So uh, now it's uh, within this uh, uh, my EA uh, uh, this uh, repository. Uh, you go to this essential underscore EA folder. Then here you can get our step by step uh, building uh, the documentation so uh, on the uh, the free plan so I uh, I will keep uh, the updating the content uh, after every video so after opening so you get this uh, uh, the tool uh, the reference link and after uh, the over number two the download and the installation actually I put uh, quite a lot uh, the reference uh, uh, the information steps uh, coming uh, retrieved from uh, the essential university. The universities are excellent uh, source for the documentation. Uh, uh, just as I should say, the only disadvantage is uh, it has uh, too many uh, information. So uh, it's not easy for you to simply find uh, uh, are uh, the useful uh, document if you are not familiar with uh, uh, this uh, the uh, structure. Uh, but I believe uh, after a couple of months, uh, if you uh, you get used of uh, the uh, the essential, uh, you you may familiar with the, this uh, structure. But uh, just for you convenient is uh, I. Uh, grab the uh, relevant uh, the information from multiple documents in university, uh, and uh, as well as uh, I also put some uh, the uh, the reference. Uh, uh, the link is uh, uh, when uh, I met, uh, but those are possible. It's not in the university uh, documents directly, or you may not easy to find out the uh, easy answer. So, for example, is uh, when we're talking about uh, uh, the meta model. So here is uh, I uh, give you is uh, you need to either use a safe eyes or uh, use this rename. So you need to uh, get a step to rename your project, uh, and also uh, don't use the default uh, weavers uh, the var file. So you you may rename that before you copy that to your Tomcat folder. So uh, something is uh, just like a small tip. Uh, to give you more convenient because, for example, uh, after you uh, make that in uh, uh, extracted in uh, the WAR file uh, within the Tomcat folder, uh, you are not able to uh, rename the, that folder name unless you stop your uh, Tomcat service, uh, so which means your web server will, will be done. Uh, so those are something uh, it's better you I want to give you this uh, convenience uh, that you can uh, read from here, and uh, I uh, also like uh, last video number three. Uh, we talk about uh, some overview, so I also put uh, some key message here, and for some uh, the message uh, the areas uh, you you can click, and they guide you to the uh, those uh, university page directly. So uh, those are uh, I want to uh, show you. So. On every video, so I uh, have the direct uh, YouTube video link, uh, and also I uh, extract this as a, uh, a sub branch related to this video uh, as our reference. Uh, so those are the things until the uh, the uh, video three. So let's go to the our prodigy for now. So uh, one and uh, another thing I want to mention is uh, last time is uh, when. Uh, uh, when I did the, in the number two, uh, you remember is uh, in the folder is uh, we only have the PPRG uh, with our EA practice uh, the name, but this uh, PINS PONT are still the standard name because I cannot uh, open that only if I rename this one. Uh, now, as I uh, want to introduce this uh, to you, is uh, you can just open the uh, before rename. Uh, the to the project you open that and then this uh, you use this uh, save project as so you always uh, uh, open that uh, uh, default uh, project name uh, that is three files uh, using the PPRG. when you use the uh, save as you can now from here to change these uh, three uh, file name altogether after you change this uh, in the repository uh, in, in your project folder, you, know, you can get all, all of these uh, uh, 
uh, with your desired uh, product folder. So uh, these are the uh, way that you can, uh, uh, when you have this one, you want to duplicate to another uh, project name, you just uh, save as to another name and just uh, even uh, uh, at the same time change this uh, class and the instance uh, file name so uh, as well so you have this uh, three uh, uh, the uh, the linked uh, the uh, package file and uh, when you uh, want to share your product file with other colleagues uh, you just zip them uh, three file then uh, others can unzip and uh, open that in uh, in others uh, product uh, the tool so uh, those are the ways so uh, for the uh, the some brief, and for today, uh, I want to uh, also I already prepare some material. So uh, first is uh, uh, let's just do our uh, quick uh, the capability model ramping up because now uh, our repository is empty, uh, and I want to introduce you the two views related to the business capability before we have uh, other element. Uh, for example, the information entity, business process, application components, or application provider in essentials uh, name uh, input into the repository. If we only have the capability, you can have this uh, capability summary view. You can also have the capability dashboard view. Actually, there's a, a few others. Uh, some are depreciated. Uh, the views uh, in essentials uh, total 150 around uh, uh, the built-in views uh, related to the capability. Uh, but we introduced this uh, four and hope you can uh, have our feeling is uh, how essential is working with your input uh, real data. Uh, and we don't uh, need to find uh, uh, those uh, di uh, the different uh, uh, the uh, the capability uh, and if you click that uh, link uh, you can get our resource of uh, the pass uh, under the, the essential project uh, the websites and the code is a free EA models so essential they are very nice they, they already published some reference uh, business capability model so you can choose uh, from these 10 and they are also welcome uh, the people can uh, submit uh, the more uh, reference model that they can uh, share within the, the uh, this uh, public. Uh, what I have uh, done is, uh, uh, I, I think is uh, we can uh, click uh, the, those and uh, try to use this uh, load into the, uh, the capability model. Uh, and then we can try to fill uh, initially. Uh, but uh, before we do that is uh, I want to introduce you this uh, structure. So you remember last video we talking about the meta model. So we have the four layer. Uh, so even it's not uh, based on the order, but they based on the, uh, the alphabet. So, so business is under application, but it's fine. And we also have information and technology on every layer. They have those uh, conceptual, logical, and the physical. So gradually, I believe you will have chance to touch base on the uh, the more uh, the elements uh, gradually. Uh, but today, well, what we are talking about is uh, within the business layer, business conceptual, uh, 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 this uh, 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 this area or domains. You have this uh, business capability. So now it's uh, empty. Uh, I. Uh, what we will do is uh, we will uh, go to uh, load uh, the, this uh, DOP file uh, and try to uh, see how much uh, uh, we are going to uh, make them available here. Uh, so uh, let's, uh, definitely is, uh, you can click uh, here, so create uh, instance uh, manually. So that is uh, the one tradition way so you can uh, add uh, the, uh, the instance one by one uh, by yourself and uh, uh, you can also uh, later on we go chance to introduce the import uh, utility then you can have uh, the templates and you can bulk uh, uh, import uh, into your repository uh, by their uh, the utility uh, but today I think is we can go with uh, some shortcut so let's uh, just use this uh, generic uh, corporate uh, capability so uh, and when they uh, download uh, so you can see here 
uh, is our extension is the DOP. So uh, that is a similar a same to the uh, their uh, update uh, and upgrade the package. The DOP is uh, their uh, the uh, the upgrade uh, the uh, the package the extension. So uh, when you have this uh, DOP, uh, then what we can do is uh, you have uh, uh, this uh, essential update uh, the folder uh, the the tab. Then select update to apply. So what we will do is uh, let's try to choose uh, and to see is uh, what we can get. So this one. So I I don't use this uh, banking. I let's uh, just uh, try to see this uh, corporate uh, business capability. Uh, so is the DOP is the essential update pack files. Let's open that. Uh, so if you do this open, you can see update name is business capability dupes data import uh, is a very old one 2018 but it's fine so once you load that let's do apply update you can see it's the update instance uh, where extend external repository reference so it's uh, done uh, then let's see here so it's uh, perfect is uh, uh, like you're uh, the manually doing so it's already load uh, here and they also load uh, some other uh, the element is uh, uh, create some seven the business role and also they have our two skill uh, types uh, but I think it's uh, uh, and also they have a uh, site uh, things uh, so some is the basic one but primarily this load is uh, gave us uh, 25 uh, a nice start uh, from this uh, capability and what we are uh, going to do is uh, uh, you can click any uh, capabilities uh, then you can see they also have uh, load uh, this uh, capability level and the capability hierarchy so uh, corporate is uh, include uh, business uh, continuity and if you go to the corporate uh, you can see uh, it's come to this uh, root capability. So uh, that is uh, your top capability and have the two branch and the corporate management is one, have um, several corporate support is the, another one. So uh, that is the, you know, the perfect uh, start if you can see this uh, 24 uh, the elements, then you can directly do uh, the publish. Uh, so uh, when you do this uh, publish, uh, it's come to your uh, the EA practice uh, weaver. So uh, I uh, hope it's uh, you uh, have your uh, weavers uh, still working. So uh, let me see here. So local and let's do the EA practice. So we we haven't uh, make any filter. Uh, for our views. Uh, so you have uh, all these uh, available views. So you remember last time we just uh, test uh, adding the, our, our tag. Uh, and according for the business uh, layer, so you can see here, uh, there's a view, uh, one view is I want to introduce is this uh, business capability summary because we already have 25, uh, 24 capabilities. Uh, so you can go to uh, here, so business uh, capability. So let's uh, go to uh, the capability summary. So let me see is, uh, if not uh, directly from here, then uh, you can hover here and view the library and we go to the business uh, capability uh, the catalog so you can see here uh, this one is actually our list uh, of the business capability and if you uh, click uh, one then they give you the three uh, pop-up uh, so the third second and the third is uh, when you have a technology layer uh, the modeling you may have some uh, the force, uh, the graph, and the tree-based graph. Uh, but what we can see already is this a business capability summary. It's like a one page for uh, your capability. So uh, from here, you can see uh, once you uh, in the R, uh, uh, in your prodigy. So let me uh, making that uh, side by side. So, so if you put in here. 
And this is the capability that if you go to the instance and see business continuity, uh, the management, you can see uh, we don't have a description for now. So that uh, because we just load our empty and the description is uh, coming to this uh, slot. Uh, and then there's, uh, uh, but we already have the hierarchy. So the hierarchy is already being able to show here. Uh, so those are, uh, but for many other domains uh, or uh, the areas uh, is waiting for us to uh, contribute more knowledge to your enterprise architecture repository. Uh, but since we only have our hierarchy, what we can see is uh, already uh, from is uh, if you uh, click uh, here, so uh, let's go to the upper level, so parents level. From the parents level, if they have the sub, sub uh, the capability uh, or the child capability, you can see uh, from this level, they already can show you the business capability model. So that is a dynamic uh, capability model. It's uh, uh, compared to uh, if you use uh, some diagramming tool like Archi, Archimate uh, modeling tool, you have to draw those uh, diagram or views uh, manually and the drag and uh, uh, draw, drag and drop and uh, make the link uh, the manually uh, for one by one. Uh, but you can see here, uh, we only do a load. Uh, the, and then uh, this information, uh, because uh, we have our parents, uh, child, this is the relation uh, like our ontology. So uh, they already can read that into this uh, re, uh, the view. Uh, and then they show you this uh, uh, in this uh, web-based uh, uh, dynamic view. So you can now is uh, go going to be able to, uh, to traverse. So uh, I want to go to the regulatory compliance. You go to here, uh, and or you if you back, I want to go to the root. Uh, so you can say root. You have uh, now the uh, the capability model from the root uh, view uh, and. Uh, some is uh, if you see this uh, triangle with the uh, the upper uh, arrow, so you can see you can expand that and you can have this uh, level two, level three all together in one uh, the view. Uh, and again, this is the dynamic view, so you can uh, uh, the go uh, the anywhere uh, from your part. Uh, and that is the capability summary view. So. Uh, is the one view is I, I want to introduce. So this uh, you don't need to configure too much uh, as long as uh, you uh, you make your capability defined uh, like the level. Uh, for example, the root is the level zero and uh, those are level two. And I think it's uh, finance, uh, we have uh, level two and the finance uh, accounting. So under level two, so you give this uh, index uh, level, so level three, then uh, they are uh, uh, have this uh, different level, but uh, primarily the hierarchy is based on this uh, parent-child uh, relationship. So uh, you pick up uh, the parents, so from here, so uh, like the uh, normal ontology build is uh, you can add our instance. So if you add that, uh, so that means uh, you can add another one, uh, but normally, uh, uh, one capability doesn't have uh, two, uh, the parents. Uh, but as a parent, uh, you may have uh, multiple, uh, the, uh, this uh, child. So uh, from here, so you can see the this uh, child is, uh, you can keep adding. So if you're adding child uh, uh, through picking up your the 24 the instance, uh, you can make uh, those uh, hierarchies uh, very easily. Uh, and that is the capability summary. Another view is uh, I want to introduce uh, within today is this uh, capability dashboard. So uh, let's see. So if you back here, the sec uh, the another one under the business is the uh, let's uh, back. Uh, if you go to the top, the library is uh, load all uh, the available view, but uh, normally you can manage uh, what you want to show to your stakeholders. So enterprise architecture is uh, more uh, the, the short list. So first one is this uh, capability dashboard is uh, what I'm trying to introduce uh, to you. So here is uh, perfect because it's already have this uh, uh, structure. Uh, so 
the structure is uh, like uh, this. So, uh, for a, but if you manually uh, input, uh, so this is the sample from the uh, essential group. Uh, so they already have uh, the well uh, the definition behind. But if you see is. Uh, uh, if you want to have uh, this uh, view uh, can be available, uh, you must uh, first set uh, your root, uh, the capability. Uh, but uh, before that is the, also the first is uh, you need to enable this uh, view. Uh, so uh, enable view is uh, like is the, uh, under the EA support. Uh, you get our folder called uh, Essential Weaver. So it's the, this folder. And under this uh, folder, you have our uh, the folder subfolder is the repo. So you can see uh, it's already more than 20, uh, 200 repo, but some repos are already in the depreciated uh, mode. So it's uh, uh, about 100 to 200. So uh, and then this uh, you can uh, come to the business capability. Then you can see this is this view. Uh, if it's not available in the enterprise architecture the page, uh, you need to click here. Uh, so enable on home page. And if you uncheck this, uh, then this view will be disappeared. So through this uh, simple check uncheck is actually you can manage the visibility uh, of your uh, repository uh, portal. So that's the first step. Uh, but uh, by default is uh, when they install this, uh, uh, vanilla Weaver is already there, so that's uh, perfect. Second one is uh, you must have uh, one root uh, business capability uh, because that is uh, normally is your organization name or uh, what your organization do. So in us, uh, uh, the root capability is just called the root capability. So it's already uh, defined. So let's see So uh, where uh, this is a setting because the all this uh, ready is uh, means uh, when we upload this uh, this uh, DOP file from uh, this uh, sample, it's already set for us. But if if not, if you cannot see from this uh, dashboard view, you also can go to the EA support and the essential waiver and come to this uh, repo configuration. You can go to here, and the reason here is uh, we have some constant. Uh, so there's uh, many others, uh, but for our capability dashboard view, uh, what we will do is uh, we need to go to here. So root, uh, the uh, I think it's a root business capability is like this one, uh, and then the you need to associate this so you can add. So if you don't want this uh, the root capability, you want other capability. Uh, so, for example, later on, I, I, if I want to import uh, finance, uh, the industry reference uh, capability, uh, maybe I have a uh, two reference, uh, uh, the capability model, and then I want is uh, my company name is uh, in the top, and then I have uh, one, uh, the capability model called the uh, industry for finance uh, services, and another is a generic, a generic capability model. So. You can have that uh, upper level as the root, and you can split uh, to the different uh, capability uh, model in one repository. Uh, so this is the uh, the one, and also you have see here. So this uh, cap uh, root business capability also get some external repository instance reference. So uh, from here is uh, based on this uh, of uh, the upload uh, package. So. Uh, the people uh, also know is uh, you upload this uh, root capability from this uh, uh, the DOP file at this day. So today uh, is uh, January 4th. So uh, what this one, if it's not set, please go to here to set. Uh, and then this, uh, the color coding is uh, because we don't have the application yet. So. Uh, you, you don't need to set that uh, for now. Uh, but once we uh, starting to build some uh, sample application and making the application realization with uh, uh, the business capability through the business process, uh, you are grow, grow, growing your uh, repository through the meta model, then we may have a life cycle as one dimension that we need to uh, making uh, available. And uh, 
Next one is this uh, ordering. How you can make the order like uh, this way? So, uh, why the corporate is in the top group? Corporate support is uh, in the second group. That is managed by this uh, FMB. Uh, so it's called the front, middle, back. Uh, so it's the front is uh, in the top, and the middle is in the mid. Uh, the uh, in the middle, and you can also have some supporting capability in the uh, in the bottom. So, uh, in my company's uh, capability, we have some strategy capability. We have the core capability, and we have supporting capability. So, normally, it's our strategy uh, capability. I put uh, front, uh, core capability as middle, and supporting capability as the back. Then they have this uh, group level. Uh, the sequence, or uh, and if uh, this one is uh, not set, uh, you can uh, put uh, this as uh, in the latest uh, version. Uh, we also use this uh, business capability uh, index uh, to to do so. That that is also keep uh, the uh, the improve on uh, the this uh, essential meta model. So uh, if I scroll down, I think it's. Uh, The index. So now, let me see. So X. You can put here. So finance uh, accounting is uh, the index is uh, one, and if I put is a uh, corporate management is one. Uh, so let's see. So like it's a legal management index. Uh, I uh, we put four or uh, five, and uh, payroll is uh, put two. So. Uh, payroll is uh, let's see where is uh, payroll is uh, here I think so HR uh, payroll is under finance so here so this is the payroll uh, and then the treasury so treasury is uh, if I move to the bottom we need to expand that uh, to the Big one, so instance, and let me go to uh, here. Yeah, treasury is uh, three. So, uh, and then this, uh, let's see, the taxi, so is four. So, Using the indexes also are uh, the uh, the micro way uh, that you can manage the sequence. Uh, so, uh, like it's finance accounting is one. So, if I say here recruiting is uh, within their group is uh, two, and the retire uh, planning, uh, you set is uh, five. Then, if you are changing this index, uh, you are uh, well manage this uh, grouping. Uh, and HR, so uh, you can say HR is one, uh, IT management is two. So on the same level, you can uh, use this uh, index uh, to uh, to manage uh, this uh, uh, the ordering. So uh, that is the uh, the thing is I uh, want to uh, introduce, and I also gave you these uh, one, two, three, four key um, uh, information that you can. Uh, the uh, manage this uh, uh, business capability uh, dashboard, and if you click here, so uh, because these are just uh, two in, uh, first uh, uh, view, I want to introduce uh, along with us uh, having some uh, sample capability element, uh, and uh, you can click this uh, uh, link, and you can go to the uh, the. Business capability dashboard uh, and uh, summaries uh, view on the essential university, uh, and you can read more. Uh, but unfortunately, some link is uh, the the team need to work on back end. Some is uh, not valid. Valid. Uh, I suggest this uh, you also need to learn the meta models uh, along with those uh, interactive view readiness already for you. Uh, and as I said, is uh, those uh, page is uh, not easy for you to uh, to find out. Uh, like this page is uh, uh, actually is within this uh, how to populate essential weaver. If you go to the business uh, view, so this is the view, uh, and another is the business capability summary. 
Uh, so uh, I, I put these uh, two links uh, directly for you here, so you can jump to here. Uh, but I don't uh, put all of them, so you can see this uh, colorful uh, meta model. So uh, we only have this one now. Uh, and But you can see from this one, we can starting, and also uh, you can use this one. We already have the hierarchy, but we can start to think about uh, if we have a, uh, our business objective, uh, if we have our purpose and the drivers. Uh, so that is the something is we can connect to uh, the business uh, capability directly. And through the our uh, capability, uh, we can also start to think about your how, so process. And through process, you can see here, uh, the meta model you need to respect. Uh, uh, then you you can gradually to traverse on the meta model. Then, for example, if you want to see which application application in uh, in essential is called the application provider or composite application provider. So, if you want to see application realize uh, some capability, you need to build on this uh, route. Uh, so that is the a kind of the predefined uh, meta model. Uh, I highly suggest is uh, that you should uh, follow those and to understand how uh, you can uh, make that uh, connected. Uh, I will uh, find this uh, some uh, reference uh, uh, the sample application uh, the, in the following uh, video. Then we can build that in this application layer, uh, and then we uh, we try and the demo to you how you can connect that. But one thing is uh, essential is uh, quite uh, flexible. So if you say, uh, I don't want to go to this, uh, I just wanted to connect the capability directly to the application. Uh, actually, uh, that's also feasible, uh, def uh, definitely, because uh, from here you, uh, you can see I haven't introduced uh, other uh, the tab yet, uh, but just for give you a heads up is uh, if you go to the slot, uh, so slot is uh, uh, they have this uh, kind of the uh, slot hierarchy. So ha slot is uh, roughly like our view uh, of your screen. So like this. So if I see the business uh, capability, so let's uh, go to here. So if I want to go to the business uh, capability. So let's see whether uh, I can find that. Capability. Oh. Let's see, so Business uh, cap. Like those, uh, I go to the form to see. Yeah, so this is the business uh, capability. So you can see here the, uh, from the form, uh, it's the same as uh, what you are seeing from here. Uh, so first is uh, you can customize your form. Uh, then is uh, if I see uh, I want our index uh, coming from the top, so you can drag uh, your index uh, slot uh, to the top. Uh, and another thing is uh, if I, I want to connect to the application directly, you you can uh, uh, drag the application's uh, slot uh, into this page. Uh, and after that is. Uh, you need to go to the uh, the application the providers uh, uh, like here. So we have the application provider, and you need to uh, think about this uh, uh, the uh, up how application uh, the provider is uh, related to your uh, the other uh, uh, other the instance or other class. Uh, but if you think is uh, oh uh, through the application go to the physical process, go to business process, then go to the business capability, it's too long. You can create, you can see here, you create a slot, define the new relationship, uh, and connect to those uh, slots uh, uh, 
between business capability and the application directly, uh, then you are making your own uh, meta model beyond the essential. Uh, but again, is uh, you will uh, take the responsibility to manage that meta model because sometimes it's uh, uh, within the ontology. Uh, if you use uh, Prodigy uh, before as well, so you may feel that this uh, ontology is uh, have some infer uh, uh, inference uh, engine. So if you create some conflict relationship or conflict connections, uh, it's maybe uh, uh, not destroy uh, your ontology, but they will get some uh, the different inferred uh, this, uh, the conclusion. So. Uh, because uh, possible is uh, you connect one application A to uh, capability A, uh, but through the normal cap uh, the meta model, this uh, uh, application A is not connect to the capability A. So uh, then that is the uh, the two different routing is uh, have the conflict uh, the inferred uh, result. So uh, adding your own. Uh, the customized relation, uh, you need to think about carefully uh, before taking some uh, additional uh, customization. Uh, but in short, uh, uh, you, it's not uh, uh, the um, control your uh, the potential. So if you really want, uh, as I mentioned, this uh, you can do uh, the, the uh, to do yourself and manage the uh, the implications. Uh, but for uh, for our today, so I hope is uh, you uh, have a quick uh, view and the feeling is uh, so after so easy, uh, we import the twenty four business capability. You have our uh, the very uh, the nice uh, view and those view is uh, I should say is also the interactive view. So from here, like the capability. Uh, the catalog, uh, you can jump into the different capability. And this is also our, uh, the powerful thing. So this is the numbers of the application uh, linked to the business capability. But this, this link is uh, based on the meta model. You remember is uh, they need to go to the process layer, then go to the uh, application. But after all, is uh, uh, they can show you how many uh, the applications uh, uh, you are putting here, and then uh, these are uh, the application uh, overlay or information overlay. Once we have uh, some uh, something uh, ready, uh, and if you want to, uh, you have a larger the capability model, you can use this uh, to jump to directly. But things over uh, the model is uh, just a one page, so you you don't get uh, that. Uh, but just for see, so if I put that is uh, bigger, so let's see. So if I uh, maybe it's uh, let me see, I want to jump to some treasury. So you can see the page is uh, starting to stroll uh, the automatically and then come to your treasury. So uh, because treasury is uh, already go to the bottom, so. Uh, is not go to, uh, but for example, if I want to go to the recruit, recruit is not showing this view, uh, this view or this page. Uh, so let's uh, if I uh, put here recruit, you can see it's a uh, stroll, and then they put this uh, recruit to the top. So uh, that is the uh, the uh, nice uh, view. Uh, so very soon is uh, we will have our capability model getting bigger, so uh, I will uh, show you how that. And there's a most, uh, more element that uh, we will mention later. So uh, I hope this video is also a long video, nearly 50 uh, minutes. I uh, appreciate that you follow me to get some initial flavor about this uh, uh, essential uh, the connection uh, of the repository. Then I will picking up some meaningful uh, the views uh, and to search back to which are the repository elements that we need to prepare. Then in the following videos, I will demo step by step is uh, how those uh, repository can be growing uh, organically. Uh, and also, uh, I think the most important is to think about uh, in your uh, use case. Uh, the essential uh, is our uh, good uh, the 
library that you can uh, add your idea, but it's, uh, the best thing is uh, you build a repository based on the scenario. So all based on the use case from uh, your stakeholder. Uh, I'm also uh, more than welcome to hear from you if you have uh, some uh, the uh, modeling or uh, repository use case you want me to uh, specifically demo how that to be worked uh, you can give me your comments then is uh, I may think about is uh, how those information can be uh, gathered some reference uh, or sample uh, elements and uh, show you uh, in the live uh, demo uh, and uh, okay thank you for your uh, the patience to uh, watch this and uh, Bear in mind is uh, you can visit uh, to the GitHub and uh, more uh, the map information will be uh, uploaded here. Uh, I hope is that this uh, uh, is give you a good uh, the start uh, that we can uh, go together uh, and learn and uh, make our meaningful uh, the enterprise architecture modeling and the repository uh, in healthy way. Uh, thank you again. Uh, so I'll talk with you later and see you in the next video. Bye.